the backboard was produced for the players to enhance their performance. We can show them what, what benefits the, our product that we invented, that we manufacture here in New Bedford does. Everything we get in life is a gift. And if you don't treat the gifts that you get in life as a blessing, then there's no sense of it. In the year of 201, 202, Wayne and I were construction contracting partners, renovating playgrounds and different buildings around town and we won a bid doing a playground renovation in the south end of New Bedford and we decided to make the existing, make, uh, duplicate the existing backboards that were up in the playground and that's what jump started us to um, producing basketball backboards. When we used to play basketball back in the days on the uh, park backboards, they were perforated metal. You could sit anywhere on that court, shoot a bank shot, and that thing would sit wherever you wanted it to sit. And basically that's, that's what his thought process was, that if we could take an indoor board and do that, that's what would happen. Um, and then of course we started conversing back and forth and that's when I put my mind to work and developed a backboard that would do what he thought a backboard could do. The sheet of the backboard is, is made from a polycarbonate material, half inch thick. It is an abrasive resistant coating on it. It's shatterproof. The industry uses glass, tempered glass, steel, um, a, a urethane, polyurethane plastic product. Uh, we, we tend to use just polycarbonate to separate us from the industry. It's superior to glass and it lasts longer and it looks better than the other products that are on the market. There's two things. One being the customer service and the customability, and the other is the holes. The holes, every time we go somewhere, they want the backboard with the holes, and that's synonymous with True Bounce. Anywhere from Boston to Washington, D.C., to Florida, to Louisiana, to Indiana, to Philadelphia, to Colorado, to California, to... Um, Texas, yeah, we're nationwide right now. Now everything we do is, is built right here. We, um, we buy the polycarbonate in slab form, we perforate it, we uh, have all our aluminum extruded, comes into us, we assemble the whole backboard. The steel, a lot of the steel that we use is a recycled, some of it is new. 90, at least 90 percent if not more comes from this country. Um, we don't control what comes into us. Uh, we do buy through people of this, com of this country. We are a full custom shop. We can retrofit to most any standard that's out in the industry. Um, we, as I know it, are one of the, if not the only, custom manufacturer of basketball backboards in the country. Having said that, we give options uh, on color striping, you can buy a flat board versus a perforated board. You can buy polycarbonate versus glass. Um, but we give the customer a couple of options. We can give them a four foot extension on the pole system. We can give them an adjustable system, fixed system, five foot safe play, six foot safe play, not to mention the colors. We, we do blue poles, we can do black poles, we can do green poles, we could do gray poles. If, if there's a multi order, then we'll, we allow colors. If it's just one-offs, then we normally try to stay with the black unless there's an upcharge for a color. The backboards, you have chosen, choose whatever colors you have of our stock colors. You can go with a white, you can go with white and blue, you can go with blue and yellow, black and yellow. Uh, the combinations are unlimited as far as, uh, as, far as what we have in stock. I mean, our, our goal is to standardize the backboard in, in all markets, the recreation, the residential and the official or professional levels because the backboard was produced for the players to enhance their performance. Just like anything else, the, the football fields, baseball fields, tennis, the, the golf, you know, they make these equipments to enhance the player's performance and the backboard has never been challenged. So we're, we're, uh, we're up for that task.
hopefully we'll get a shot at the, um, at the professional, at the high level college and or the professional level. So we can show them what, what benefits the, our product that we invented, that we manufacture here in New Bedford does. The challenge is probably the best. And, and like I said, one of the biggest things I found as a uh, deterrent for anyone going to achieve what we've tried achieving or are, are achieving is the challenge of taking it to market and getting people to believe in what you do. And I would say that that, that jacks me, that, that fires me up, is to be able to hush the naysayers and just build something that's been a gift to us and uh, take it that one next step further because everything we get in life is a gift. And if you don't treat the gifts that you get in life as a blessing, then there's no sense living. Immediately when I found out the physics of, of the ball having energy and wind and, and how it came off the old steel tin backboards and it dropped right in, I immediately asked uh, my partner Wayne if we could perforate glass. So I went indoors on a professional level so to see if the ball could have more create more excitement, more fun for even the professional. And if someone had told me that before I got off the ground that this was going to, actually it had happened. People were telling me in the first year that I was going to be a, a millionaire because I invented a backboard, but that's kind of a, a, long, a long road. <laughs> I mean, we're not doing it for that reason, uh, but if we get to that reason, then, then you know, we're blessed to, to have both successful product and, and some money to go, go with it.